Aside from the fact that you couldn't stay away from me for very long, I know. <laughs> what attracted you to the Ira Gershwin lyrics oh, and show? Well, to begin with, uh, to me, music is about lyrics. Uh, I think that Ira was probably the, one of the greatest oh, lyric yeah. writers too. ever. Uh, and he was also a neighbor. Uh, he lived one house from me. Agnes Moorhead kept the two of us apart. She lived in the middle. I lived in one side, and Ira lived on the other. And he kept trying to steal my cat. <laughs> which just annoyed me to death. I had a black cat called Tinkerbell, and he and his wife loved this cat. And they would go down, and literally go down to the fish store and buy fresh fish and shrimp. And tr they, they tried to blackmail the cat into staying at their house. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah, pretty Did well. Did the cat stay oh, there? Oh, very much so. Tinkerbell loved them. But loved this is, them, this more than me. Is, but this is a real Hollywood neighborhood like it doesn't exist anymore oh my god no Let's who see. all lived on there? the corner was Joni james uh my house was next uh agnes moorhead was next ira gershwin was next rosemary clooney was next a lot of singers jimmy stewart <laughs> lived across oh, yeah. the street okay. and then across next to him was jack and mary benny I mean, it was... And Lucy did and live Lucy there. Lucille lived, Ball. And Lucy lived on the corner. And Jean Crane lived on that street. Yes, yes. What a what a street. Did any of you mingle, or did you... Well, actually, yes, we did. I mean, there were a lot of... You know, it was when Hollywood, Beverly Hills, was a small town. And actors gave, you know, dinner parties all the time, and everybody would come. That kind of community, really, basically, I don't think exists anymore.